What up guys, and today we're going to be talking about the mock, but before we get into it, we're going to give a little explanation on why I wanted to do it. You see, one day I was getting into my phone because, well, that's what every teenager does, and then I look at the, my backdrop. I decide, hey, that looks cool. I could build that. I already have a figure in that. So I decide, why not get started right now? And that's what brought us here. So after carefully studying the image of Sensei Yang versus Cole, I then decide that this is going to be more of a diorama. And naturally, I start with a base. So this is the base that we have going so far. We have a place for Yang and a place for Cole. So I already have the Cole figure. Dope figure if you guys don't have them on Bricklink. If you want to buy them from America, we're looking around $15. Anyways, we put Cole on. He's, you know, in his funky position where he has his arms all wavy and, I don't know, face him towards where Yang would be. But I don't have Yang, so I get on to Bricklink. But for now, this is what we have. That'll, that'll have to do. Next up, though, I'm going to need to give it a backdrop. So... Ta-da! This is our finished product, and so far it's looking pretty good. Um, the mountain in the background back here is a little bit small, could have made that a little bit bigger, and the black in the background. And the background tan could have been a darker color, too. And then also the moon that I added actually isn't in the image. But other than that, it's mostly pretty similar to it. Now, as I shared earlier, I have the coal figure that would go to this, but I don't have the Sensei Yang figure. Here's our temporary replacement, but flashback mode. <laughs> And we're back. Uh, so, yep, Bricklink, that's my solution. So now we're looking at some of these features here. This took me a bit to build. I mean, I even time-lapsed it. Let's have another flashback. Okay, we're back again. And then the final thing for this is we needed an angle for this character. So I got one of these like angled pieces, but I don't actually just own them randomly. I only had them in one other set-ish, I guess you could call it a set. So one last final flashback. And we're back. And that's how it came to be. I'm pretty proud of the product and I'll catch back in when we have actual Sensei Yang. All right, it's been one week and we're back. And yep, Sensei Yang came. So here he is. We're gonna give a quick, just like brief little look at the figure. Get the light so we can get it on his face so you can get a better view of him. He's looking pretty good. He's a cool figure. Like all figures, though, with um, beards, it does look a little weird under the beard. So I'll show you guys that in a sec. Let me pull that up. So there he is without it. But overall, really good figure. Although it turns out, if you look back where Sensei Yang is posed... Right there. Notice how it's not gray. I changed to transparent. Turns out I actually had one of them laying around. So, uh, reverse flashback. I decide, hey, that looks cool. I could build that. I already have a figure in that. So I decide. And we're back. Yep. So, kind of regret taking it apart. But, you know, what is done is done. And there's nothing I can do to change that. So, we can just live with our mistakes. And try not to do it next time. But... Thanks, y'all, for watching all the way to the end. And if you didn't enjoy it, why are you still watching our videos if you're not enjoying them? So, yeah. But anyways, 
If you did, please like and subscribe and comment below any tips or tricks you have for this that could have made it better that I haven't already stated that I should have changed. All right, see you guys next time.